everyone, I welcome you to Ereda TV. My name is Moses Saturday, and I will be taking you through this course as I've taken you through the basics, where we look at the introduction to database, and we did a whole lot of things. Today, we want to continue from where we have stopped. Uh, as you can see from this new table, we just ended at uh, where we write a calculated field for mother and father. We didn't have student ID and then student name. I've, let me add another number. Uh, let me see. Uh, John. John is a male. John Latte. It's uh, <laughs> I've made the date of birth uh, very compulsory, so that's why it's giving that feedback. So I can use this place. Let me just put some random. Let me use this here. Let me see a crap. It's also a guy name. Like sports. You see, yes, it's two. And the mother, I'll just select this one for just the father. Let's select some material. And then you can see. The student ID is being generated and the name also come. So let's see how I'm able to do that. Let's see how I'm able to do that. So I will remove these two details. The student ID, I'll delete it. I say yes. And the student name, I also delete it so that we will do it from scratch. So here I'll write student ID either you space out uh so I'll come to the caption and then I'll say in Excel you can even leave it like this it will access as a way of a way of making use of it by other uh, database it will not allow it by uh, access has a way so let's use it like that let's go to this one to be a calculated field calculated field and then this uh, expression builder will open for you so we'll write our expression our expression is the ID so ID will come first so immediately I start typing the ID, it will I'll just uh, click on it. Okay, the ID has come. Then I'll bring up and sand and come uh, space. So space up and sand space. Then left. So left is a it's a function. It's a I say. Left with ten a variant of type string containing a specified number of character from the left side of a string. So you want to uh, take the uh, the left side of a number. So you have first name and you have last name. So you want to take last name. So the 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 left the left side of what last name. Okay. So let's take it. Let's use that function. So left. So it will tell you left of what? The left of last name. So we use last name. Comma. And then the length. How many digits do you want to use? So you want to use three. So what you want to say is that you want uh, the, uh, the three, three letters. Of the last name that's what you want the three letters of the last name 
Okay, so after that, I'll put it in bracket. Mm -hmm. So this is a bracket over here. So I'll put it in a bracket. Then space. Then I'll use ampersand for concatenate. Then date. Date of what? Of the birthday. Date of birth. I'll use it. You see, I'll use over here. So it'll be here over here. Then you bring the close bracket and then end. I'll use month so month so month month of what the date of what birth. Then I'll bring a close bracket. If you don't do distance, you will not get a formula right. Yeah, very important. And then end year of what date of birth. Then you put what close bracket. Mm -hmm. So I want the 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 expression will build an uh, student ID for me, which will have the ID, the left of last name, the three digital, the three. Uh, letters of the last name plus the t of the birth date of birth the month of the date of birth and the year of the date of birth if i finish i'll just click on ok and then if i go to design view it will ask me to save and i'll say yes and then if i go and view see that it has generated the student id for me Continue the student ID for me. So the first one is I, where the first ID was one. And then if you look at the last name, the last name, the, the three digits, the three letters of the last name is what? E S H. This one too is L E R. It's there. And then the D, the D is 12th December 2009. The same thing. 10th October 2000. So that's good. Or better still, I'll, 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 I'll forward you with this, uh, uh, I'll forward you with this ID. So that you have, if you use the same, uh, field that I've used, date of birth like this, I'll just give it to you, just copy and paste it over there. But I want you to understand. So, let's also use this one for the student name. So let's go to student name. So let's come to design view. And add another one, student name. We also use calculated field. Then expression. So we just want to we want the student name should be the first name and the what the last name. So we say what. U case, U case, we use it in Excel, we use it in Access. Use case stand for it return a variant of type screen containing a specified string converted to uppercase. We want an uppercase. So, U case stand for uppercase. The U case of first name. Then bracket close. Space. Then ampersand. Space. Then space will need a quotation, double quote, comma, another double quote, comma. So we want it to space out the first name. There should be, it should give us a space. Uh, there should be a comma. Then another ampersand again. So it will give us a space. There should be a space. Okay, there should be a space. Then U case. Then before that, and again. Mm -hmm. That's all. Yeah, as I said, and the what? And then this again. Then 
space UK then the last name then bracket close okay so click on okay and when you go to this data view sheet say yes it's correct see let me expand this see what's the name of this guy it's also a mary ashley now john last it see so let's add another field uh, for this field to work we need to close the whole of this we have to build a query okay for this query to work we, for this uh, function to come we have to close this so save your work and close it now go to create and go to query design query design and then we are going to build a query from student click on this uh, asterisk here which will bring all this field for you so click on it it will bring all the food for you all the food contains id first name last name it will bring all of them then come to this place the second one over here and select date of birth now after you set up the click on this to sort it out you don't want it to show so then come here come to the the third the the next column and right click right click and go to build okay right click and go to what you come here right click and go to build very important build now we are going to build a query uh, that will enable us to display the age. So you see age. Mm -hmm. We want the age to come. You see every of these. If you look at this, it has a, a title. Okay. So the title is here. It's here. The age will come. So the title is age. Then column. Then bring your space. Then we use div. Date div. This this one. So return a variant type of long of long specifying the number of time interval between two specified dates. So we'll do that. We'll use it to calculate the, the date of birth. The age rather. So click on it. Date diff. Then we'll use month. Month. Mm then comma space then you bring date of date of what birth the date of birth didn't come here yeah? the same field name that you use for the date of birth. so i'll bring the the bracket this bracket then i'll write date of birth and i'll close it If you don't know how to get this bracket, it is that's where you have the curly bracket. So you just click on it, the curly bracket. Yeah. So date different should give us the the first date. The first the interval is the month of what? The first day is date of birth. And the second and the second day should be the first day of week. Or first week of year. So you know this is that. So this is the first date first day then you bring comma then you also you, you require uh, the date function mm -hmm. the date function okay that's all another bracket again because of so you click on okay so this one is going to give us the it's going to calculate the age for us in tens of months. After that, we convert it to to yeah, yes. So click on OK. 
then click on uh, run let's see you see it has calculated the h for you see it has displayed the the full name h it has displayed the full name h but we don't want the h in months we don't want it in months so we'll convert it to a year so how do you do that so i click and go to query design now click on this click on it and go to build now here come here and put it in bracket okay this bracket and also put another bracket here and divide it over 12 that's the the month is 12 12 month is got to one year okay so after that you click on okay now run the query and let's see the yeah it is giving us the h but it's in decimal <laughs> we don't want that it's in decimal yeah uh, this is a uh, equivalent to 12 years uh, 13 years and something uh, we don't want this okay so we we'll go to uh, right click and then you go to what come here yeah, go to what property sheets property sheets so click on it then come to format and select a uh, standard and the decimal place say zero run the query so it has given us in what uh yeah that's interesting i hope you enjoy this lesson that's interesting so it has been able to give us the what the date of uh the age so let's save this query so click save and i want to call this query uh student 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 what query this is from the student table okay uh -huh. so save it that's interesting that's interesting so a query has been built for us that's interesting that's interesting so now we we'll use this query uh, to build our form okay okay so you can add more details mm, let me add another details let me actually i i make this place not an auto number let me add moses uh the sign name uh, <laughs> i will not use my sign name yeah i'll use somebody's name let me use a then moses is a male date of birth let me put some Okay, I bought a catchy. You know, it's going at a Apungo. Apungo is a community in Bongo district where I'm staying currently. Uh, she Moses here, like uh, playing uh, football. That is all Then the class mm, is form two. Then I'll just choose this name. Uh, I'll just choose it. Mm. And see the magic. It produced the student ID, the student name, and also the age. That's interesting. So. Uh, you have you can close the query so be on the query 
we on a query uh, before that uh, we are going to use the the parent form let's click on the parent form we're going to use this form uh, we're going to use it to create we'll use the same pin over here to create for the students using the query so you uh, close it right click and click on copy and then click on paste and then uh, call this place uh, I'll just call it a uh, give it a student profile student profile okay that's the name I'm going to give to this table student profile student profile okay so I'll click on student profile I'll come to right click and go to design view and then actually I don't need all these things I'll click on it uh, I'll change the caption uh, to to a student query no student table again student query okay and then the caption will be uh, student profile okay that's interesting so now i can delete uh immediately i've uh, i have uh, updated the field this is giving us it's putting this thing in a, a storage for us uh, it's putting it in a storage for us it's putting in a storage for us So we have the ID. Let's update it. You can update it here. Let's see, I've updated it. So we just delete the whole of this uh, so that we just do it from scratch. Okay. Delete it, the whole of this. Delete it. Or better still, let's maintain it. Let's undo move. So when you come here, you change it to, you come here and change it to what? First name. So here we just come here. And change it to first name or better still you can delete everything and click on it I believe by now uh, you should know much come here and it should be last name uh, there are a lot of tricks that you can use so yeah let's click on here let's update the, the full name come to address sorry Click on the drop down and select uh, gender. So here yeah, it should be gender. Gender. Okay. Come to the location. Click on the drop down. Select date of birth. Mm. Mm, so make it date of date of birth. Come here. And go to the drop down and it will be address. Okay, here will be address. Uh, address. Come to the agenda. Okay. <laughs> okay, agenda is already there. Ah, another agenda. <laughs> So yeah, come to the this thing and choose what nationality. So here will be nationality. So delete the whole of here. Come here to drop down and change it to hobby. And here will be hobby. You can add a whole lot of field like uh, region. Okay, we can also add region, uh -huh, but for the sake of this tutorial, we just want to limit ourselves to this one. That's why. Okay, you can add it. Let's expand it. Let's expand this. 
let's close this one small and bring this one a little bit forward so we have enough space so let's come to the email so come to the drop down we are going to class class change here to class I'm going to add another field so you see <laughs> you add another field so come to add existing field come to add existing field uh, we have added hobby we, we need with mother so click on click on it to bring mother so so select it and bring it here We will arrange it nicely for now, but let's do it like this. Mm. That's mother. Let's go to father. Add father. So bring it. Bring it here. Okay, mm, let's scroll down. Okay, let's see. Let's go top. Resize this and bring this one to the down. So let's expand this. Okay, let's expand it and bring this one down. We'll work on this formatting later. So, Father, we will not bring the photo here. Let's go to student ID. Student ID should come. Student ID. Then the, we have student name. Bring it here. Student name. Then the the age. Mm, the age the age okay uh, I believe we are now okay so we just select the whole of this and give the same format and give us the same color we use no that's not the color I use this color and you bold it mm. and then let's select the whole of here and uh, adjust it <laughs> let me come here let me do this one then I'll select the whole of here and then I'll adjust it to have equal Mm, so yeah, I'll sell the whole of the year and then I'll give it uh, the font color and then and I'll hold it and then the I'll go to the shape outline and give it that same color. Mm. Let's view our form to see how it is looking. So go to home and click on it. This is our form. This is our form. This our form. Mm, we will have to adjust the age. Now we need to reposition after the date of birth. We must have the age. Okay. So we are we are going to do that. I'm going to do that. It seems like our form the the we work on the distance. So right click and go to design view. Select the whole of. Select the whole of and give it a the format the shape outline to be this color. Now let's see it now. 
now it is no now becoming and let's uh take this h and put it at the date of death side so i click here mm. now this one we can position it down we can even expand it here we can change it to add yeah click on undo move let's uh, bring this one down this one change it to add student now should be add student mm. now you can expand the whole of you can select it and expand it Expand it. We just want to ensure that they all have the same size. Mm. Take your time and do it nicely. For the sake of this video, I don't want to uh, make it so long. Okay. Okay, so as I was saying, now I can close this and then I will bring the the I'll, I'll, I'll select H and put it here, somehow here. Yeah. Then I'll select the whole of here and bring it down. Then I'll take the H and put it here. Mm -hmm. Then I'll send this one a little bit forward. Mm, I'm not okay. Now I can close this gap. Okay. It has uh, come up. Uh, it's not like. Let's send it uh, down. Set it a hold up here. and send it down okay it's now okay now this is what we want to do it's made out the photo it's made out the photo so let's expand this let's expand this now we are going to take uh, these details mm, i don't want the video to be long we'll take these two details student name and student id Controls uh, X to cut. We're going to put it over there. We'll put it here. Mm -hmm. Now we'll change this one to the color to white. To white. To white. And then let's position this one. A little bit here. Mm, let's send this one down. And let's send this one also down. That's perfect. Now, let's view our form. Now, let's view our form to see how it look like. So, form design. Not bad. So, when you change the it also be changing so far we have three students i'm going to put the image over here yeah so right click i click on the form go to form design now come to add existing field and then now select the picture double click to add a picture now the picture has been added you can close this one this is a picture, send it to here. Mm. Now come here and select the whole, uh, the only this one and put it here. Mm. Now expand this. And the picture expand it, okay? Expand it. We want to expand it.
okay i give this one a, a black color so go to format and then the shape field should be black and then the color should be white and put it in the middle this one uh, go to shape outline and give it a black outline the outline should be black okay let's view this and see how it look like not bad you can make here let's make here white rather white rather okay so right click and go to design view click here click here let's make it white rather format yeah make it white and then choose that the this color and bold it okay let's view our form yeah that's perfect we can add student picture we can add stem picture but uh, for the sake of this video I will not uh, I don't want to face the you can double click to go and add a picture okay to add a picture uh, okay so let's right click here go to form view okay let's click here to go to form design click on the picture and then you want to do some settings want to picture alignment yes. picture size mode let's click on it and make it stretch okay that's perfect uh, so that's all we can add picture to it so so we'll stop here we'll pause over here select this all of this and send it forward you can make it you can increase the size okay let's view our form let's view our form okay we need to remove the space over here we have to remove the space over here so I click on the form and go to form design this space over here is not nice so position it here you can close the property sheet come here and uh, position this one and then close close this gap So close this gap so let's view the form for the last time and see how it look like so everything is looking perfect i uh, thank you very much see you in the next in our next section that will be on coming monday we'll look at how to uh, create a report of our uh, student profile a report of our student profile for view and then printing uh but before let me before I, I i stop this video let's add an another thing let's add another thing now uh we want to be here so that we can navigate to the other we want to as we are here we want to add a new student right now uh assuming that the new student is not here let's uh, i want to create a, a button over here which will enable us to navigate easily to order so let's right click on the form go to design view let's add this one quickly so go to command button mm. command button uh, we draw a small command button over here which will enable us to navigate to the the mother side so go to a uh, form operation form operation form operation and select a, uh, open a form click on next 
we want to open which form we want to open the parent form so click on parent and then you want to open the form and show all record yes uh, what name do you want to give i don't want to give it so i'll use a picture so click on next just click on this so let's uh, let's make it small a little bit small that's good mm. so uh, copy this control C control V and put it away this also enable you to uh, so let's do copy uh, let's draw another one for class so that we can easily navigate to class so go to command button and draw another one for class for class mm. So go to rec form operation. So click on open form. Click on next. This one you want to open the student, the class. That's class. So class. So they can able to negate the class. So select class. Open the form. That's the last one. Mm. So read the adjust it well. It's too big. I'll pause the video so that I'll adjust it. So you can format it. Give it a nice color. Okay, go to format. You can give it a nice color. I'm I'm a lover of a color of this caliber. So so now when you uh, save your uh, so go to home and go to view mm, you can click here to add a class uh, to navigate to class you click here and you can card add a mother uh, yeah the same thing that's nice you are learning a lot from this training and i want you to take this training serious uh, when you start the school based assessment system you will be exposed more and you will love that you will love it okay thank you very much see you in class um, do us a favor to subscribe to our channel always like uh, like the video uh, <laughs> when you like it it will show it to other people very important just also comment thank you very much please subscribe to this channel like comment you can even share so that others can also benefit from this course